A very welcome to you. We are here with 26th of July's Golly Blessing. Now we all know that on a spiritual path or any path in our life, whether we are spiritual or not, it is important to hold on to the horses of greed, of desires and wants. And that's what we are going to learn over here that it is very important for us to keep control over it. Otherwise, we might lose a balance between other things. So if you are getting too much involved into finances, then the balance between relationships and health and uh, our uh, friendships and uh, even relationship with God can suffer. So that's what we're going to learn in today's blessing. And in God's words, he says, may you become ignorant of the knowledge of any desire. One is having desire. One is trying not to have desire. And the third thing is not even having knowledge of what is desire. So we are supposed to reach that level. Imagine of any desire. And instead of chasing after a mirage of some desire, earn a true income. So true income is something which we take along with us and the fake income would be something which is just needed for taking care of this physical costume. That's it. Some children think that if they were to win a lottery, they would give their winnings to the yagya. That means if I earn a lot of money, if I earn a lottery, then all the money which comes, all the crores which come, I'll give that to Brahma Kumari's yagya. However, such money cannot be used for the yagya. Often, some have a desire for themselves, but they say that if they win a lottery, they would do service with it. So actually it is a desire for self and that is a very fine checking which one needs to do. And that is known as the Lakshman Rekha, which we have learned in so many different aspects, in so many different ways, in so many different serials, which we have seen online on TV, where Sita Ji tries to cross the Lakshman Rekha and Ravan takes over because Sita Ji is looking for that golden deer. So this is the golden deer. The lottery is that golden deer and uh, it's coming in different forms. So even Ravan is coming in the form of a saint that he's showing that, oh, if you give so much of donation and if you give so much of things in the name of God, then it's going to be wonderful. And that's what God says. Often some have a desire for themselves. Now this is the point which you have to check because see, we have the yin and the yang. We have the impure and the pure. We have the angel and we have the shaitan, we have the ravan and when we have the ram within us. Sometimes the ravan is acting very slyly and subtly. So the ravan says, well, yagya, if you do tan man dhan seva, that means if you put in money, then God is going to be impressed. God is going to be happy with you. So why don't you play a lottery? Why don't you go out and earn a lot of money and uh, give it to the yagya? You see, that's the way to go about it. And the whole intellect goes well. Instead of going to God, instead of meditation with God, it goes towards earning money through yagya, for the yagya, through lottery, through other means. So God says, Ravan is guide diverting you there. He's not diverting you towards God. He's saying, go there and then come like this. And he wants you to just cross that line and then come here. And it's going to be very difficult. God says, often some have a desire for themselves, but they say that if I, if they win a lottery, they would do service with it. However, to be a millionaire now means to lose millions for all time. Because that will bring about a lot of attention from the souls who have impure visions. It's going to bring about a lot of tussle, pull and push between souls, between relatives and other things. And obviously you'll have to use that money up somewhere. And then when you grow in physical world out around, people will have a lot of issues. Chasing after desires is like a mirage. Therefore, earn a true income and become ignorant of the knowledge of any limited desire. Whatsoever you have is okay, but going for extra, going after a lottery and going after those things is not the right thing to do, God says. So this is what we learn in Brahma Kumari because God knows subtle ways of how the Ravan within us, how the Shaitan within us, how the, how the negativity, impurity within us tries to take over and tries to make us slightly become its own. And uh, to learn more about it, to visit the Pramakumai Center and get this knowledge. Shanti with this.